So I am going to start, um, it's not going to be a series, it's just I sit and try to think of um, things to create um, for my home or whatever. And I happen to remember when I was renaming some things that I have a board called New Home Decor. So I'm actually going to go through it and um, pick out the things that I still want to do for my home and do those. And I was looking to see if I could find dates um, to show you that I've had these on my, my board for quite a while, but I could not figure out how to do a date. So I found, I pinned this probably three years ago and I just love it. It is a wooden bowl that you paint the inside a different color and the outside a different color and so that is what we're going to do and around the same time that I pinned that I actually bought this at the Goodwill. Um, unfortunately I don't have a sticker on it any longer so I have no idea how much I paid for it. Probably just a couple of bucks. I wouldn't pay you too much for it. Um, and so that is what we're going to do today. And probably for the next um, couple of videos, the next, I don't know, however many videos, um, this is what we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is go through and clean up this bowl and I'm trying to take these stickers that's on the back off because I want to paint the front and the back so alright I cut those and we are going to be painting the bowl um, agave and I am going to try I, I'm going to try a small section and see if I can do silver glitter on the inside in here and then mod podge over it. We'll see how it does. I'll just do a small one and if it doesn't do good with the glitter then I will um, do paint, uh, silver paint. So I am taking some um, awesome, totally awesome that you get from the Dollar Tree. I use this to clean up a lot of things, um, but it is really good on wood. So, we're going to go through here, and we're going to clean this, because I have had, I think I had this in my boutique, um, and I probably held some jewelry or something. Like I said, I know that I bought this um, either before or after I pinned that because um, sometimes if I pick up things at the Goodwill, then I will look for things to do for Pinterest, but it could have been vice versa too. So, go in here and as you can see, it's Ugh, it's totally gross. Probably hasn't been cleaned um, since it was in my boutique a couple of years ago. So, all right. So, for Thanksgiving, did you guys have a traditional? meal with the turkey and dressing and sides or did you have a non-traditional I had a traditional we had turkey and ham and I wish that I had bought a bigger turkey because unfortunately I didn't have many leftovers so all right I think I'm gonna start on the bottom shake this up really well because it's just really going to get a layer of paint. Hopefully just one 
we'll cover it. Let's see. Might take two coats. Alright, well I'm going to cover this one time, maybe two, and then we'll be back. Okay, so I did put two layers and it's probably going to end up needing a third one in certain areas. I used the a hot gun, the heat gun, and dried it so I could turn it over. And we're going to see it's still, little spots, it's still wet. All right, so we're going to do around, I'm going to use a smaller brush, around the flat side of this. concerned about going over the edge because you know I am going to put glitter or something else inside just wonder if I should tape it off and do the inside first hmm to tape it off. That might be better. I think it's just going to be, it's not going to be perfect either way, so I am just going, of course I stuck my paintbrush in the water, so i got to get another one. This is why I can't just, I watch some artists and they just like use three brushes and I mean I end up using like ten. I'm going to get painted all around the edges and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to test out this glitter before I actually filmed a whole lot of it. Discovered that it didn't work. So, I believe it's going to work. It's going to be a little bit time consuming. But, I'm going to get this one little inside section done. And then we will make a... So I'm just putting on generous amount of Mod Podge and then going through and putting some glitter and then pushing it up to the on top of the Mod Podge. I'm just doing the sides first. Hopefully it just takes one coat. in small sections so that it won't dry before I get some glitter on it.
it out what you're putting in All your hopes and efforts are all in vain Who will pick you up when you've lost everything? That looks really good. It's a little clumpy, but I can go in and once it dries, I'm going to go through and do the other three sections just like I did that one and I will be back. I have it pretty much covered. There's a couple of bald spots and if you see any bald spots you just go in with a little bit of Mod Podge and then we're going to take some glitter covered up. Back in. I have no idea how I'm going to seal this. I was thinking about epoxy, but epoxy will settle to the bottom. Um, it's too much UV for UV resin. There's some on the sides. I'm just going to go through when it's all dry and kind of clean it off the sides. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to seal it. stuck everywhere. Alright, I'm going to let all this dry and I'm going to clean up a little bit and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and this is pretty much dry. I'm taking a dry brush and I'm just brushing over the glitter to get all of those final extra loose pieces and you might see that you have still bald spots like there's some that's forming there um, and then we're just gonna as you can see this is quite a 
bit that is still coming off. I have glitter everywhere. Okay. Just all right. This has clumps of glue and everything, so I'm not. I'm actually not going to salvage that. Okay. I have. I'm gonna just do just the really bald spots. Um, there's a couple on this. going to use this um, clear pouring top coat to cover it but before I do that I'm going to clean up all these little corners all right in hindsight I wish that I had painted the back of this this color because then I don't think that the wood would have shown through as much. I'm trying to decide. I know you cannot see it on camera um, but I can still see the wood through it. I'm trying to decide if I want to put another layer of glitter on it. or if I'm going to be okay with that. So if I do this again, definitely paint the entire surface. That way the wood won't show through. Um, thinking that I am going to put another layer of glitter on it. So And I might even change up the color. Let me think about it and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to do another coat. But I'm going to use this extra fine um, recollections. It's the bling that you get from Michaels. Um, and... So, I'm not going to do it everywhere. So, I'm just going to take my brush. And I'm actually going to take an older brush, one that's on its last leg with me. Oops. And. Okay, because I don't have a lot of this, and oof, I'm going to have to, alright, so it is done, um, it is not completely the way that I envisioned, um, I opted to, and I'm missing a fingernail, so, excuse me, I'm missing two actually, look. So, um, I was hoping that this would be more smooth. So, 
two things. If you decide to go with glitter, paint the entire surface the color and then glitter over what you want. Um, or just paint this a separate color and it will be more smooth. It turned out really good. I sealed it with some Mod Podge and it is very um, hard but it's not smooth um, but I mean it turned out cute I'm gonna put some put something in it and I'm gonna set it upstairs probably in my bathroom or in the guest bathroom actually and um, you know it's cute it looks better than it did um, there's still some glitter that you know hitchhiked onto the paint so there it is there's my Pinterest um, that I did that has been sitting in my save um, for probably three years and so it is all done it's cute there was some things like I said that I would do differently but overall I'm pleased and so I appreciate you watching this. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And we will see you next time. Thank you.